Welcome to this edition of the 2023 Crokinole Accelerate. Today we have an exciting match between Reed Tracy, who at the time of this recording was ranked 13th in the National Crokinole Association, and Simon Dowrick, at the time of this recording, ranked 16th in the National Crokinole Association. They will be playing a match of placement singles, which means instead of shooting their first disc, they place their first disc on the board somewhere within the valley shot region. This takes the game away from that initial 20s race and makes it into a much more strategic match. Reed to go first placing his disc on the inside of the pegs but his side of the board. Simon now debating where to put his disc. Ops to go on the outside of the pegs his side of the board as well. Tucked nicely away from Tracy's view. Gives Tracy a tough shot. He opts to go up the left side and gets the off. Simon now may be lined up nicely for a double. He gets one off and demotes one down to the 10 region. Reed now. And he gets the 20 off the peg right out the gate. And Simon fumbles under the pressure. Reed for an open 20, which he drains. Simon going for that shot. Peeling very wisely read for another open 20 oh. just misses on the right side of the hole this time simon to come up the side for a tough but doable shot and he gets the touch 20. read now with another open landing short again maybe a drop back for simon a bit of a tougher shot this time lines up and just misses it very good bid. Reed now potentially going for a follow through. Just misses. Simon debating his best course of action. Going for that center piece. Just deciding which angle he should take this from. Certainly not an easy placement to get the 20 off of. He gets the off, not the 20. Reed now on his final shot in a very comfortable position. Peels. Simon now not needing much, just a double and a 20. He doesn't get it, giving Reed the first points this round. Play back that beautiful 20 from Reed. An awesome circus shot, truly deserving a highlight reel. Simon again, really liking that placement behind the disc. And Reed tucking his behind the peg, giving Simon a tough shot. Simon misses, giving Reed an opportunity to make something out of this. He gets the off, but also his goes as well. Simon now, oh, they readjust. Both players seem happy with that. Simon gets the off, leaving his disc on his side of the board. Reed now just for the hit, doesn't get the off. Might not be the worst thing for him. He does have the hammer in this round. Reed now again, leaving one on. Simon. Hoping to get the off at the very least. In a comfortable position with three discs on the board. Following through, maybe for the 20, but ending up on the outside of the pegs. Reed with a double there. Simon now, peeling. Leaving just one disc on his side of the board. Not the easiest spot to get it, you can see Reed, considering his best course of action. And he gets the off. Simon, opting to hit and stick, maybe hoping to hide on Reed. And it works. Reed misses. Dowrick now with an opportunity to seal this game, and he just misses. Reed now getting the double to seal the deal. Winning this round, bringing the score to 4-0. Very, very close, just pulling it back within that last shot. Reed to place now. Going for his side, not super close to the pegs. Simon debating what's best now. Now, this is very tough because with this, you typically, especially placing second, want to make it very difficult. Simon again opting behind the pegs. 
Maybe not the worst forcing Reed through Hogan's. Reed gets a hit, but he doesn't get the off. Simon now. Maybe a double for him here. Looks like that's what he was going for, but doesn't quite get it. At least gets one off. Reed opting to hit and stick. Two discs on the board. Now Dalric does have hammer. So he is feeling pretty comfortable right now. Reed needing to make something out of this. And he gets the double. Beautiful shot from Reed. Simon now has a little bit of work to do. Heals his disc. He gets the off but doesn't leave a shooter on. Giving Reed an opportunity. Which he overshoots. Potentially a shot here for Simon now. Just missing it. He at least gets the off and leaves his shooter in the 15. Reed now probably happy to just hit and stick. Looks like he was going through the follow through. Now leaving Simon with a doable angle into the 20. See if he can convert. Taking his time with this shot. Seeing what angle is best here. Choosing the middle lane. And he gets the 20 and the off. This is great for Simon. Having the hammer, he's in a very good position now. Reed draining a 20. Giving Simon a not super easy shot. Certainly doable. It is there. All Simon needs to do is keep one on for his final shot. And he will seal this round. Reed now. Gets a decent hide. It is there, but it is tucked a little bit behind the peg. All comes down to Simon making this shot, and he gets it. Leaving a disc on, sealing this round for Simon. It's a beautiful 20 from him, which guaranteed him a win. But credits to Reed for this awesome double. We are down to the final round. Simon having the opportunity to tie. Not going to his typical spot on the inside of the pegs for the first time this game. Reed considering his best course of action. Opts to post his disc at that very awkward spot. Simon considering going through his own. <laughs> See how this works out. Oh, and it doesn't. He doesn't make contact. He peels both discs, leaving Reed with an open board. You hear the players laughing about it. Still plenty of game left for Simon to bring this back, and Reed leaves him a hanger. Simon to convert, bringing this game back into play. Reed short again, not so close to the center this time. Simon opting to get the off. This is it. Reed trying to bring his in. Still not in a horrible position. He does have the hammer. Probably will be looking for a double in his next shot or two, but Tracy is certainly not out of this. Simon taking time to consider his course of action. Lots of discs in the center, making this more difficult. He gets the off, leaving his disc just on the line. Reed now following through, pushing to the 15, leaving Simon with what looks to be a decent backboard. And Simon gets the 20, up to nothing in the 20s cup. Reed going through his own for a ricochet 20 of his own. Simon gets the double. This is huge for him. Being up a 20 down to only two shots for the hammer. Reed gets the off. Not the 20 though. Simon just needs to get the disc off. It's in an awkward spot, but if he can get this off and not leave his disc in his super accessible spot, he will have all but sealed this round. Just gets the off. Very close to the center hole though, so Reed has the opportunity to tie, and it just bounces out. Giving this final round 
to Simon, bringing it back to a tie. Very great game between these two competitors. Thank you for tuning in to the Crokinole Accelerate. Stay tuned for more matches, and as always, happy flicking.